Question number 51, it says we should find the standard deviation of the distribution below. This is a, a table of distribution, which is also in group data, because you can see the range. The range of marks between four to six, there are three numbers. Maybe there are even students that scored between this range of marks. There are just three here. Those that scored between seven to nine, there are just two. 10 to 12, there are seven. We are asked to find the standard deviation. There is no way you can find the standard deviation without finding the mean. And how can we find the mean? We are going to take the summation of all the frequency times x divided by the sum of the frequency, which is denoted by capital sigma. Stands for summation, sum of all. Frequency is given from the question. You can see it here. We are going to take the sum. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 7 is 12. So we have the sum here. Sum of the frequency equals 12. But we don't know this x. This x is the midpoint. The mid mark between this range of marks. You add them together. You divide by 2. So let us form a row of this x which are the midpoints 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2 is 5 we write 5 here 7 plus 9 is 16 and 16 divided by 2 is 8 10 plus 12 is 22 divided by 2 is 11 we have 11 here. What we are looking for is summation of fx, f times x. So we are now going to form another one, fx. We multiply x by f. This time this, f times x, 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 8 is 16. 7 times 11 is 77. Now let us take the sum of f of x. Fifteen plus 16 plus 77, we have 108. So summation of f x equal to 108. Now we are free to use these two information to find our mean. Mean is donated by x bar, which is the same thing as summation of fx over the summation of f. Just substitute. Summation of fx, you can see it here as 108. Summation of f, you can see it here as 12. If you divide this by this, you get 9. So our x bar is equal to 9. This is our mean. But mean is not what we are asked to find. We are asked to find the standard deviation. Now let us record our x bar to the other side. We can write it here, x bar equals nine because we are going to use it. Standard deviation, which is donated by sigma, is equal to the summation of f frequency times x minus x bar all squared divided by summation of f all under the square root now we are going to find x all the x i's because we have three of them you see we have one two three so we have x1 x2 and x3 so we can donate this by x i minus x bar which is our mean Whatever you obtain, you take the square of that. Then you multiply by the frequency. So now let us form a row of this, which is f multiplied by xi minus x bar all squared Okay. Now let me take my calculator. Our first x 
is 5. So we have 5 minus x bar, and our x bar is 9, so we subtract 9. We have negative 4. Then we square, because we have a square here, we take the square, we have 16. Then we multiply by the frequency of that class, and the frequency of that class is 3. Then we turn by 3. And we have 48. Then we take the second x, is 8. 8 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Then times the frequency of that class, which is 2, 2 times 1 is 2. The last x is 11. 11 minus x bar, 11 minus 9 is 2. Then 2 squared is 4. Then 4 times 7 is 28. Now if we add all this together, we say 48 plus 2 plus 28, we have 78. So we have 78 here as the summation of f of x minus x bar squared. f of x minus x bar squared. So finally we can substitute here to obtain our answer. This is the square root of uh, 78 divided by summation of f which we have here as 12. This is 12. Now we are going to get an approximate result. We say 78 divided by 12 we obtain 6.5. Then we take the square root of 6.5. We have approximately equal to 2.5. 2.5. And this is our answer as our standard deviation, which we have, which we have here as option D. Now let us move on to question number 52.